Sundays are so boring. <sighs> yeah, Mum was telling me what it used to be like before they opened shops and stuff on a Sunday. It must have been awful. I don't know what they did. Nothing much, just a day of rest. What's the point in that? Are you going to that Civil War thing? Oh, yeah, my middle name's sad, didn't you know? Yeah, it might be quite interesting. We did it at school last year. Exactly. Oh, uh, well, one of you two get that, please. Do I mind in Bethany? <laughs> you know. Oh, Bethany, come here, I've got something to show you. Whoever doesn't open it has to lay the table. You have to get yourself down the gym a bit more often. Oh, yeah, gonna buy me some new trainers, are you? Oh! Ooh, she's very fast off the mark there. <laughs> Mum, who's she? Someone Richard's doing business with. Nobody important. David, wash your hands. Tea's nearly ready. Right, I'm off to the Rovers to Betty Williams leaving. Do? They'll call me if you need anything, will I'll they? be fine. Those will be sat in front of the telly most of the night. Just let me remind you to make sure that you sort out any schoolwork that you should have done during the break. Oh, will you stop nagging me? Hey, that's not nagging. Oh, yes, it is. Right, I'm off before we fall out again. See ya. Good night, sweetheart. Hi, Adi, it's Sarah. Oh, we give us a ring back when you get this message. I need to talk to you. Well, especially if you fancy a little party tomorrow night. OK, okay bye. Hiya. Sarah Lou, how are you? <laughs> Has he been drinking? <laughs> I'm intoxicated with love for your mother. <laughs> and the prospect of a big commission from Rita Sullivan. Oh, she is loaded. My kind of woman. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah? Hey, you! Wait, come back! Come on, come on! Yes, we need an ambulance, quick! We need it now! Oxygen on her. The head injuries look serious. Left pupil fixed and dilated, probably internal bleeding. We've got to get her up right, quick as you can. Take some of the pressure off her brain. Keep her in there. She can't be more than about 14. Keep her in there, darling, that's it. Radio ahead to A&E, tell Cromer we need him on standby. Another disappearing driver. Stolen tonight, apparently. Are you sure? That car belongs to my neighbour. I know this girl. Sarah Platt. She lives across the road. And you didn't know she was a twat? No way. She's a really nice kid. Nice kids stay in and do their homework. How is she? Alive. Joss. A trauma ready. We're going to need him. She is. She is a nice kid. How old do you know the family? Oh, don't you start. I mean, someone's got to tell them. Do you want me to do it? I'm sorry, Mick. Just a bit... That's what I mean. Are you going to get upset? No. I'll do it. It's probably better coming from me, seeing as I know him. Still your daughter, Sarah, underneath. When she comes out? I'm sorry. 
she still be my Sarah? Or will she be a stranger? She has a little girl. Bethany, if she comes out of this with brain damage... There is that chance. You can only face it when he comes. But you said the operation went well. Hmm? She's young. She's strong. We're optimistic. You can't be sure. I'm sorry. Hello, love. It's Mum. Last time we were in hospital, you were having Bethany. It's a lifetime away. I was thinking, because I didn't wait. Remember in the surgery? They told me you were pregnant. My baby. Pregnant. I thought it was the end of the world. It was nothing. I, uh... Um... Me and you, the rows and that, I mean, they don't matter, do they? Look, I know I've never said stuff like, I love you, but you know, Sarah, please, I'm frightened. I don't know what I'd do if you weren't there. And if Beth could tell you, she'd say it same. She rocks, you know. She's great. Like you. So for us, eh? Get better. Please, you've got to. <laughs> hey, listen, you two. You know, we've had a falling out with your brother. Because she turned Elsa over. Well, yes, she did. And so what that means is she won't be joining us today. In fact, it might be quite a while before we see her at all. Oh, I think we figured that one out already. So what do you want us to do? Oh, just understand what's going on and not be upset by it. I think I can manage that. I hope you do make it up, though, Mum. Because I love Gran, even though she's a bit doolally. I know you do. And I do, too. What she said is very hard to forgive, even if it is Christmas. David, happy Christmas, sweetheart. Oh, and happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Sarah Mallow, happy Christmas to you. Thank you. And big one for a little one. <gasps> happy Christmas, Bethany. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Gran, and happy Christmas. Oh, and you too, my love. You know I want to be with you, don't you? Why don't you just say you're sorry? Because it wouldn't be true, sweetheart. And even if I did, he'd find a way of setting your mum against me. So, uh, are we, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better go. Bye-bye, mm. Bye, Gran. Bye-bye, So, we're going to watch the Queen later? Why? What's she doing? What she always does, I suppose. <laughs> Dressing the nation. Giving us her Christmas message. Oh, not me mum oh. again. No, it might be Craig for me. He said he'd come round after his dinner. Well, go and get it then. Yeah, go on and tell him he can't go out till he finished your dinner. OK. So, what does she talk about then, the Queen? Well, I'll tell us what kind of year she's had, you know, her and her family. Highs and lows, ups and downs. <laughs> Hoping next year will be better. Like we all do. Yeah, well, hope our next year's going to be better. I mean, if you think of the one we've had with me and the car crash and then everything that's happened with Gran, the last year's been terrible. I'm sure next year will be better. I'll make sure it is. Was it Craig? Yeah, I told him I'd see him later. Okay, no need to rush. I'm sure he'll still be there. Do you not think I might watch the Queen? See if she's had a worse year than us. <laughs> Who's ambulance for? What ambulance? There's one across the road outside Emily Bishop's. What? Are you serious? Gosh, so if you don't believe me. This isn't a joke. No. 
David. You tell her the truth, David. There's no ambulance out there. Well, there were. I think he's telling the truth because he was just talking to me about it. Fine. Don't believe me. There weren't an ambulance. Oh, David, they do believe you. I do know that Emily's been ill. Well, perhaps if you were to call Norris, he might know something. Yeah, he must. Yeah, I will. <laughs> 